Hey YouTube, hopefully it's not too windy here. It's a windy day in Gig Harbor. Gorgeous day here at the Haven of Rest Cemetery. And I'm here to visit John Archer. John Archer's name was really Ralph Bowman. Shortly after his first child was born, he illegally changed it to John Archer. Everybody did that back then in Hollywood, mostly under the guidance or control of their agent. He had four children, two by his first wife, actress Marjorie Lord, whom he did a few films with. And one of those kids is actress Anne Archer. And he had two by his second wife, Anne Letty, whom he married in 1956. She also was a commercial actress. And he was married to her until his death. John was born in Nebraska and moved to California when he was five. He attended Hollywood High School and then USC where he studied cinematography, expecting to work behind the camera. But when finding work in that field proved very difficult, he drifted into acting, working as a radio announcer and actor, including one year as the starring role of Lamont Cranston in The Shadow, a popular radio series in 1944. But he left that job after a year when his Broadway career started to kick up. His filmography has over 140 credits, which include films, such as the vintage sci-fi Destination Moon and High Lonesome with John Barrymore. I saw what you did with Joan Crawford. Blue Hawaii with Elvis Presley. My Favorite Spy with Bob Hope and Hedy Lamarr. King of the Zombies with Dick Purcell. He appeared in a bunch of TV series like Columbo, Bonanza, Ironside, The Outsider, Lassie, uh, Batman, Perry Mason, The Twilight Zone, Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, Maverick. When asked why he left acting, he said, I didn't give the business up. It gave me up. I had a nice career and I felt that I should move along, so I went into something else which I enjoyed very much. I'd always go back and do a TV show if anybody hollered, but then I lost my agent and I just became disenchanted. He died of lung cancer in Redmond, Washington at the age of 84. And now he is resting eternally with his loving companion and soulmate, Anna. May you both rest in peace. <laughs>